My name's Matt Hall and I'm a laboratory manager and health and safety officer. I guess I started GCSEs, I was good at science um, and enjoyed all of them. Um, so I thought I'd do the sciences at A-level and didn't really want to get into the physics too much. I took physics but wasn't a mathematician um, and then didn't know what I was going to do with them. I just enjoyed those as subjects uh, and then at the end said, OK, let's have a look and see what I can pick as a degree. And it was looking between zoology and marine biology uh, and Plymouth was quite a big draw. Being near the sea was a big draw for me because I was, grew up near the sea. So I came down to Plymouth to study marine biology and so that's where I sort of got into the field of science. Beyond that, it was then looking to stay in Plymouth partly, but also to stay in the fields. And luckily, we're one of the centres down here for marine biology. So I moved from that into working here. I learned to dive while I was at school. So everything underwater was kind of exciting to me. And I guess that was where I kind of sparked on it. I wasn't really a big, a lot of people in marine biology are like into the big fluffy things. And I like them, but I actually, do uh, like having a look at the small organisms underwater. So I decided not to go on to a PhD and just to stick as being a straightforward technician. Uh, and there seems to be a split between that. The role of technician um, is often something kind of people do in between finding a PhD or a postdoc rather than saying actually being a technician is a progression. And we've got three technicians here, so it is a it is a career path on its own. And we've got a, a big change in the way that the media are covering it. In the 80s they covered marine biology a lot and then it dropped off. And now they're covering it with global warming again. So it means that we're quite a sexy subject to be involved with. You have to make yourself different from everyone else. So you've got to, you have to look at yourself and say what is going to make me attractive to an employer. And everyone's going to have the degree. Everyone's going to come out with reasonable A-levels. Everyone's going to say they like marine biology. For me, I actually volunteered for six months here to get experimental um, skills. We've got bursaries that we take students from all over the country on and most marine institutes will have something similar where you can do quite intensive work experience. Uh, when you're doing your projects, your undergraduate projects, put more work in it than needs to be done because I got a publication out of mine. It then made me attractive to an employer. Even though I didn't have the best degree in the world, they knew I was willing to do the research and that's more what matters.